about players and everything, the first squad we make, I was thinking about it, most of them are right, but like I said, uh, I said also before, I can only check the quality, but not the character, or if they can adapt to this, what I want. So, and uh, the first step was a big shock for me, this first match in Mali, and I told you that I am not stupid, I learn from mistakes. So, you know, but the last week showed me also that I'm not more sure that if what if this was only my mistake, I'm not more sure about it. So, so we played against Mali, especially first half very good, but uh, we didn't score. This was our problem. Before. Till now, it's our problem. Uh, the good side is we are able to produce a lot of goal chances. Uh, we are now much more creative. We are much more dangerous, but still in finishing we lack. And this you could see also in the next matches we played because I changed a lot. You saw the squad changed a lot. I put a lot of new players inside. We had, of course, also some injuries. And against Uganda, uh, we played with four players who never played before for uh, Kenya. And even Timosi is 17 years old. Uh, we want not only to, to play good for football, good football, we want also to think about the future, to show also, you know, these players like Timothy, 17 years, this is a message to all Kenyan boys to understand that this door, it doesn't matter where you play or in, in how old you are, is always open. We are open for everybody who brings the talent uh, to represent this country. In uh, Uganda, we had, of course, the problem that Marcelo and uh, Richard couldn't play, Richard Odada. So you see also today that especially Marcelo, we try now to play, let him play higher and to get more effective. He was in the first half very effective. Both goals came from his side, but he get in, again injured. His leg looked uh, terrible. So uh, in second half, this is what I mean, what happened in the last weeks. You could see that the boys have too much pressure. They, these legs start to get like stones. And this is what I mean, what we faced in the last weeks, and you have to understand. We didn't know what is tomorrow. Every day is some news, some news, management change, president arrested, FIFA cancels the match, FIFA ban us. We, we had even one time order them to leave the hotel, the match is canceled. You cannot even imagine, even I, with all my experience, I get confused. And then think about the players. You know, people from outside, they look at the match, that. It's not so simple, people. The, this psychology, psychology the pressure on the players was crazy in these days. So, and if you think also, it was like also everything is going against us. Check this goal, uh, Uganda score. It's impossible that any referee can give this. It's not possible. So, and even in this situation, normally we deserve two wins. And this shows that we are not got good way. This team will be ready. So, there are so many new faces. And I was even talking to everybody and explain them. I have in my mind still four or five players outside. I'm saying also all the time, scouting has to be better in this country. If I can fight as a foreigner, somebody like Timothy, who's 17 years old, I can't even imagine when you stay here one year, how many talents you can find all around the country. So these are the points which people have to discuss. But we, in the last week, we didn't, couldn't discuss football. And we are football people. We are nothing else. We want only to play football. And therefore, I'm really proud about the boys, that they was able to handle this situation. So, and this is the reason you have to understand why in second half they had so much stress. It's quite normal. They are normal people. So, but I think everybody who's not blind sees that this team has a bright future. This team will be sure a very competitive team, maybe it can be the best ever. This is what I'm saying. Because don't forget, all these boys are 21, 22. The, in this age, they can play 10 years more. Mm -hmm. but, Coach, um, um, maybe I'll ask, uh, three matches, yes, we've seen Kenya's improved. And then uh, many people are talking about your contract. We know it was just a two-month contract. Do you wish that maybe to stay beyond the two months? To be honest, uh, I see a big future and a big potential in this country. This is one part. And I have to say, in this time when I was here, the people was so kind to me. When I'm, I'm not this one who hides in his house. I go outside. I go to the people and talk to them. And I got only very, very positive uh, feedback from them. People know exactly what is going on. And therefore, they support also this team and especially me. Therefore, I'm happy about it. And I see a future for this team. And this is what I remember what I said in the first day. If I don't see any, any future, it's
it doesn't make sense to me. Mm. But these boys, they want, even in this very difficult situation. And therefore, this is all what a uh, uh, coach can ask for, a team with character. And therefore, I'm interested to stay, it's clear. Interesting to stay, you brought in a new blood, the likes of Wilkins, we didn't see them feature. Mm. Are you go, let's say you stay, see more new faces coming in the national team? Of course, no people. A healthy national team needs around 40 players. Around 20 players with, which are the main squad. Around 10 players who can come in if somebody's injured, out of form, red card, whatever. And around 10 players which are very young, who get the smell and atmosphere of international level, they can play then in under 21 to get practice, but they will be then ready. When they get the chance, they will be ready. And this we have to do. And I know in this country I will find a lot of people, a lot of boys, I'm sure. Because you can, I'm only one month here. And I'm able to change so many faces. So this is what I mean. What, what happens if you have long time? Coach, the next uh, World Cup qualifiers 2026, maybe what should be done to better the national team? You know, like if, for example, when we start about it, when you talk about the future, I think the, the national team needs a training center, OK? And next to this training center, I think we need also to make elite groups with the talents we have in the country to bring them one, two days in a week or three days in a month from the clubs that we can work with them really on really high level and also with a good pitch and everything. So as we, we do these steps and can organize everything, this is one most important point here, organize everything. And with the potential I see, we can have really a good team which can really play against the big ones. Coach, your first time coaching in Africa, what yeah. do you think of African football? It's not so easy, to be honest, because I, I have to say it, there's a the match at home, and also in Uganda, the referees, this they cannot do in Europe, no <laughs> chance. They cannot do this. So and this is the reality I face. I cannot do nothing against it. So this was the main part, and the second part is what I said. For me, it's not easy. if. For example, national team has to go somewhere to training and we don't have a real field, you know? So even in, when I talk about it, even if you see the uh, fields in the Premier League, they are not good. So this is also the reason if they can't pass, what they do? They play long balls. So and this is all negative for the Kenyan football especially. But I'm sure it's a general problem all of Africa. So if this kind of things can be solved, the quality of football will rise up in Africa. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay.